when you bluff your way into the VIP area here in Benoni, sometimes you bump into some <laughs> crazy people. Very important people. No, crazy. Mattia Not important. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. No problem. So we're uh, playing a game called Dish the Dirt. We, oh my word, I never heard of that. This with, uh, is that. Is that how the butterflies come from? Is no, that no, a no. dish of dirt? No, no. Is, it, is that you? I, oh, I should be focused. Focus, focus. <laughs> You're not getting out of this. I'm putting you on the spot today. You can wow. dish the dirt on all the people you played with. Okay. Who hmm. was the messiest? Um, if I can think clearly, Mark Boucher. Hmm. Remember, he's a wicket keeper. He's got uh, we are keeping gloves, we get keeping pads, we get keep bedding yeah, pads. Everywhere. He's just there's no one actually want to sit next to him because it's smelly. That's number one. He's got those gloves that he use them the whole day. Mm. They are sweaty. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> Who's the who is most usually late for the bus? Uh, Neil McKenzie. Neil McKenzie. Neil McKenzie. What does he do with? Yeah, if, I'm gonna tell you on the, on the cricket side of things. Mm. You know, he used the Gallen Moor pads. If he put his pads, but if one of his fingers touch O before he goes to bed, O, he has to take everything off, repack his bag, open up again, start afresh. That explains a lot. Yep, that's why he was late all the time. Who was usually the first guy on the dance floor? Whoa, um, ah, JP Domin. Mm. Has he got moves? <laughs> um, uh, oof. Singing voice, first person to belt out of tune. I'm telling you, he's a guy called, uh, he can sing this song at the SAD. I drive all night. You know that song? I know this Monet song. Monet Mokol. Yeah. <laughs> Honest truth. Wow. Monet Mokol. I remember him singing that song, We Just Beat in Australia in Perth. We're sitting in the changing room. It's almost dark. He's, he's sitting on the, and he's too tall. He said, my legs can't sit on the, on the chair like this all the time. He lies down on the floor and then he starts singing. <laughs> I drive all night. And I said, <laughs> what? Where did he get that? <laughs> he's gone. Pasted to the top of it. Who was probably the person who Googled themselves the most? Whoa, if I can think of the guys that I was, oh, Herschel Gibbs, you know, he's a stylish man. Mm. You know, he doesn't wear anything, doesn't fit him. So he will go back and see how he looks like. That was my man. And the, the biggest fashion fail you played with? Fashion fail? Mm, someone who really <laughs> needed a stylist. <laughs> he needed, absolutely, that's Jock Callis. <laughs> by far, <laughs> that's Callis by far. Never, never being the guy that could actually look in everything that he wears it he was out of fashion okay. completely out of fashion who found home most often? i think i was you yeah i was why no you leave family back home so you have to keep in touch with them and see how they are they doing they make it even easier now now you've got the phones that you can do video call and all that kind of thing you can see your kids mm -hmm. yep who was the worst morning person? Who did you not mess with? In the morning? Whoa! Okay, let me go all the way back. The guy that you can't even touch him in the morning. Mm. Oh, I have to think to the player's point of view. Hmm. I think AB. Hey. AB was not a morning guy. Was not a morning Just guy. Just takes a while to warm up. Yeah, for them, you know, you, know, you need uh, that little bit of uh, extra time. Ah, ah, I'm lying. Lance Klusner. Lance Klusner was the guy. I remember all the time when he, <laughs> he comes in the bed, he just said, why are we doing these things? That was a guy for me, you know. He's forever not in that mood of uh, waking up, being able to refresh in the morning. That's Lance Klusner. Who was most and least keen on training? Wow. I think Kalis, he, he fits in on that. Because I think, you know, as a professional, you know exactly what you want, what you want to do, what you want to achieve. And then uh, he was he was one of those guys who called to the coach and says, I'm taking it easy today. I'm just going to sit in the changing room after the warm up, clean my beds and all of those kind of things. You will never see him practice it. Yep. Was there someone who, who overdid it a bit? No, not as much. Not as much. And because in the gym? Uh, Yeah, I, I was a king of it still today. 
still today. Yeah. The uh, king of the gym. Absolutely. That's me. Guns. <laughs> and that's the word from the king of the gym. Thank you so much for joining us. Anytime is a tea time. Thank you very much, guys.